Hi, everybody. Uh, Tara is unfortunately under the weather this week. Uh, she's got yeah. a migraine. So fortunately, our dear friend Luke of Rocked jumped in to help us out. Luke, thank you very much. I, I appreciate you coming to share the misery with us. How are you doing? Not bad. Happy to join. Hopefully Tara feels better soon. Glad to hear you survived the um, many travel issues that many of our friends had escaping Con Bravo. I know Dom, if that's and, proper. And Dom and Kaluna got stuck in, what was it, Chicago? Chicago. The Ed O'Hare pretty much just said, sorry, you have to stay an extra day. And uh, uh, they didn't get home until actually, I think, a day after they were supposed to. Yeah, they got home like a few hours ago. Right. That's pretty bad when they say, you don't mind staying here in the airport for a day, do you? Yeah. Oh, you need your luggage? Sorry, you can't have that right now. Yeah, that, that, uh, <laughs> but I had, I got stopped by the freaking TSA because, and I want to reiterate this for the recording, because. Bad. WestJet, so bad. Because WestJet, all right, on my, my passport. My name is split up into three parts, just like a lot of people's names. I have my first name, my middle name, my last name. Boop, boop, boop. WestJet system decided to take my first name and my middle initial and cram them into one name. So, Nashy? <clears throat> yeah. So, my, uh, my, um, the name on my, my boarding pass and the name on my passport did not match. And the TSA decided I should be randomly selected, which is uh -huh. they, they didn't randomly select me. They had a reason, a stupid reason, and pulled me aside and detained me for about an hour. They went through all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go through this bit again. They went through my um my luggage and they're like, "Sir, sir, uh, yes, what is, it? what is this, sir, sir? What is this? Oh, they would have ta They should have tased you. What is Look this? Look at what you what carried on a plane. Uh uh uh. That's, that's that's nail clipper. Sir, you can't have these on a plane, sir. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna have to confiscate these from you. Okay. I, I get, oh, oh God, I'm out three oh, dollars. No, no, my grandfather gave me those nail clippers. Oh no. What are you gonna do, give a manicure to everyone on the plane? I'm going to groom the wings. Yes. Uh, I thought th this was, was this in Canada still? Yeah. Aren't the they border? supposed to be friendlier there? It was well. It's it's at the border, so it was technically I was dealing with U.S. customs. Okay, so it was Americans yep. working on. Okay, gotcha. It was us. Welcome to America. Yeah, I'm lucky. I was like, are they gonna fucking search my laptop? And because I, I I wasn't concerned about that. I was like, oh shit, they're gonna find all my uh, copyright violations. Nah. Asshole. They probably wouldn't. I don't think they would even know how to dig that far into it if they tried. Because I mean this with the most respect I could possibly muster. TSA usually fails their security check um, tests regularly. You know when I when I showed up at the airport here in Charleston, I walked up to the TS. They actually had these. It was so sad. They had these color printouts that they do you know those um those pocket sleeves you put in the three ring binders those little plastic sleeves you put yeah in so that we can actually just put them in without having to clip in so the they rings. had these printouts in those plastic sleeves taped to the podium of things they had confiscated and it was it was like it, it was like the tsa's version of they put shit up on the refrigerator <laughs> look at a good so job wait. i'm doing mommy so could someone like in theory reach in yeah, and say, look what I got. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's no, 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 no. way worse. No, they were just the printouts. They weren't. They weren't. Oh, the, the, okay, yeah, gotcha. just, It was like they, you know, like a kid drew like crayons uh -huh. and put it up on the on the refrigerator. The TSA had printed. Look what we got and put it up on the podium. <laughs> we did. Where's our gold star? This is our homework. Uh, so that's yeah. off. That's I haven't heard of that before. They don't have that in St. Louis. Oh, and also I have a broken toe. So. I did hear about that. You are a trooper for walking around a convention center. I've never been to Con Bravo. I wish I could have been there this year, but you are a trooper for walking around a convention like that with a broken toe. Ugh. But uh, Should have made Dom carry you. Fans gave us stuff, and it was very cool. Um, nice. Petite Wallaby gave us this. Oh, that's which impressive. Is a little, it's, a, it's a little grady. A little grady? Yeah, nice. Nice. And um, Rowdy, uh, you can find him at RowdyC.com. He does video stuff, too. Um, made me this. I mean, you know I learned from Radio Dead Air. 
Well, you do learn a and lot. It's it's all okay. No, this is the first one. Yeah, <laughs> poop is not the a plan. That is correct. Okay. Meek does not go down your pants. Wow, he really picked some winners for he this. He did. He did. Those are great. I, it's very cool. I appreciate this. This is very. It was very neat to, to have. That's awesome. All right. Well, now that's all out of the way. Um. It is time for the nonsense, and we have it. Boy, howdy, do we have it. Which one do I want to start with tonight? You know, actually, I'm going to switch this one around because we were just talking about it. Okay. It's, it's, so, it's sad how often the TSA pops up on my show. All right. Maybe that's why they pulled me over. I'm getting on their ass. I don't know. All right. Intro yeah. time. Each week. So far, yeah. Just so, just so you're aware, all the plane travel you've had, all the travel issues, you could probably write your, some of your own stories that you've just seen and report on them, like actual live, in person, on the field reporter for your own show at this point. Each week, Catherine, radio and your audience, go out worldwide interwebs, far and sell all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little things we like to call. What the fuck's wrong with you? And let's, yeah, let's start with the TSA. Um, now this is actually, this is actually them doing their job. But I want to point out, this one was kind of a gimme. I'm going to send, okay. I'm going to send this to you on Twitter, because okay. it's easier. Perfect. Where's the message? Come on. Yes, Come on. it is. No message. Gee, maybe I should have prepared for this before. The anticipation of how TSA messed something up this time. No, they didn't. They actually, oh, again, like I they said. They did a good job? Yeah, but again, this was kind of a gimme. Um, okay. TSA agents confiscate missile launcher from military members checked bag. <laughs> like I said, bit of a gimme. That's a beast. Look at that thing. Officials confiscated a missile launcher from an active military member's checked luggage Monday at the Baltimore airport. TSA officer spotted the missile launcher while scanning luggage Monday morning. I just want to see the look on that dude's face. Because he's just sitting there, shit's going through the x-ray. Dildo. 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 Missile launcher! Which is also the name of one of those objects, if you think about it. <laughs> uh, the officer immediately contacted airport police, who tracked down the owner of the bag. The bag owner, a man from Jacksonville, Texas, says he was a member of the military in active duty, traveling home from Kuwait... He wanted to bring the weapon home as a souvenir. Oh my gosh. There is, I have a lot of questions. What other six souvenirs do you have from family vacations, you monster? A fucking... A rocket launcher or a missile fucking launcher? Rocket la a fucking rocket launcher. A fucking missile launcher. And why does he have, like, stickers on it like it's his own personal MacBook? I know, right? Let's, let's get the... Yeah, I don't know if you can see the picture very well, <laughs> but there's, like, there's like fucking stickers on there. Yeah. Like, like, a, like a fucking hipster or something. There's a fucking bumper stickers and shit on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the and fuck? What? I checked it. That means I can't check, use it on the plane, so it's totally safe. Why? It's not the point. Why would you even think this was a cool thing to do? Oh, it's yeah. yeah it's not. It's it's in the it's in the luggage department. It's a missile launcher. It's literally, one of the things they ask you before you have to check. Okay, are you bringing a weapon? This is a big weapon. I, I'm trying to wonder what in his mind was going on. The technicality. Did he like, really think no one would stop him? Did he re like? Because also, if he's in the military, he travels. Mm-hmm. He goes around. This oh, is yeah. not his first flight. No. He had to have known someone was going to have a question. Also, I love in the picture, bottle of pills, rocket launcher. Man, this guy knows how to party. Just, it, it, they, they won't even let you put lithium batteries in your checked luggage, and you're putting in a fucking missile launcher. Nash, could you please hold up the weapon that you got stopped with again? Um, yeah, Th this one. Okay, if they're going to stop someone for that, do you really think they're going to say, you know, the missile launcher is pretty cool. You yeah, go ahead. Sorry. You go ahead. Fucking don't. Like, what? <laughs> also, since when do uh, the military just let you bring weapons home with them, especially if they're I owned know, by the right? government? It's not. Heck you no. didn't pay for those things. The Pentagon get, did. And I bet if you check their, you know, the, the list, the receipt, those cost a little bit of a pretty penny. Who just takes a missile? 
I'm gonna take this. It's not like you stole like post-its and pens from work. It's a yeah. missile launcher. Even if you wanted to argue, listen, like the whole, what's the bit from Full Metal Jacket? This is my gun. There are no other guns like it. This, you this, can't do that with a missile launcher. No. No. They're all pretty much the same. They have to have serial numbers and stuff on it like that. Also, like you're saying, that's thousands of yep. dollars of weapons grade material yep. that, that you're stuffing in with dirty towels and underpants in your suitcase. Well, it's, it's okay. They'll let me have this. You know, <laughs> come on, uh, come on. I want to show everyone back at the bar. And you know, that's what he was going to do, too. You know, he was going to show that around town. There's no other way. He's just going to keep that under his bed and never show anyone. He is going to strut around town no matter where he, what does it say? Jacksonville, Texas? Yep. Oh, man, Texas, too, where they love their guns. He's going to mount about. that to his pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> the Texas Mobile? There's an actual rocket launcher on it. Deer antlers and a rocket launcher. We have found the America Mobile driving through your town. Oh my gosh. Next up, let's move on to uh, New Mexico. And um, I'll file this under the uh, the audacity of nope. Um, woman orders food, tells servers, this one's on God, before leaving. A New Mexico woman is facing charges after police say she ordered food from a Sonic and told a server... This one's on God before fleeing. 30-year-old Delilah Hernandez was arrested Monday in a felony robbery case. Uh, police say Hernandez rode her bicycle to Sonic in La Cruz and ordered a meal. When the server asked for payment, she allegedly told him, This one's on God. Police say the server told her, That's not, That's how, this not how this works. Ah. They later. found her at the nearby point. Sorry. You you please read the finish of what the last couple lines are. Um let's see, where is it? Uh it is not known if Hernandez had an attorney who could comment on the allocations. Authority say her charges may be reduced. I That's not how it works. This is, I mean it's it, She's not eight. She's thirty. She's thirty years old. She popped a wheelie out of Sonic with her Dine and Dash food to the park. You know, I there is that old Dine and Dash where it's like um, you go up to the hostess and you'd be like, "Oh yeah, they've got my meal," and you point to people you don't yeah. know and you wave at them and they wave the back. The Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, yeah. Um, that works because there's an actual real person there. What do you got? Like a Buddy Christ sitting over there on 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 the railing? You'd be like, "Oh, he he's picking up the meal for me." <laughs> The fucking just mm. You might as well have gone before I pay. Can you close your eyes in prayer with me? <laughs> and while the person closes their eyes, you just run out the door. At least then you have a like a head start, especially on the bike. You might get more oh. credit for that in jail than saying this one's on God and then popping a wheelie out of there. Oh. And yes, I want to say I want everyone to imagine this woman popping a wheelie with her sonic slushy, laughing as she rides away to the park. Reality breaker in the channel says, render to Sonic the things that are Sonics. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's much better than the bad puns sometimes the chat rooms has. Good job. How do you get to how I mean that is not even a good scam. You no, it's not. Like, no, at it's 30 not. years old, I would respect somebody who, if they could come up with a good scam, that, like, it takes the person you've scammed at least 10 minutes to go, wait a second. Wait a second. I need to get my manager on this one. You stay right here. If you can at least get to that point, you've done something. But no, this is just like, instead of a smoke bomb, it's like, God, boom, that's not how that works. You've been godded. Oh, my gosh. I just can't get over that either. 30 years old? Uh-uh. She knows better. Oh, either yeah. she... Yeah, she knows. There's no way that she... Ugh. And that's the best she could do, too. I don't care how desperate you are for food. And there are some desperate things you have to do sometimes for a meal. Yeah. I have never heard of someone so go desperate, though, order their food and go, this one's on God, and expect it to work. Like, what, what's the... Also, what was the exit plan? Does the server just go, ugh... I hate my job. I'm not getting a tip. Uh, I'm not getting a tip for this. 
Sonic workers have, by the way, Sonic's employees, they work on tips. People don't know that. Yeah. And that's messed up, too, because no one tips them. No, because people don't know. Damn, are they still in those damn roller skates? Mm-hmm. Those old-timey roller skates, too, with the two front wheels and two back ones yeah. that, like, jack up your ankles if you have to come to a really bad stop. Mm-hmm. And then you have, like, a tray full of slushies that you dump on some poor kid in the parking lot. Yeah. Sonic's messed up. Not as messed up as uh, Delilah Hernandez. Speaking Ugh. of slushies, um, I had to make a what lot... Is- what a segue. Over over the years, I've had to make a lot of impromptu repairs. Everyone has had to do this to their vehicles. You've had to make some sort of... I will tell you the worst one. My old car, which I've been driving for over 20 years, um, the connector that held the muffler up underneath the car uh, rusted through, and the muffler broke down to the, to the ground. So in order to get back home in one piece... I took a roll of duct tape and I went around my entire car to hold the muffler up long enough to drive home. You MacGyvered the crap out of your car. That is impressive. This, however, is much less impressive. Colorado driver replaces <laughs> taillight with red sports drink. <laughs> oh no! Colorado police say a driver tried to replace a broken taillight with a red sports drink. Just say Gatorade. They won't won't know any better. Oh my gosh. Denver news station KMGH-TV reported that Longmont Longmont police stopped a driver on Monday who placed a red-colored bottled drink where his car's rear light should have been. I want to point out, this wasn't just a red bottle. It still had Gatorade in it. Because the Gatorade was colored red. Yeah, it's a clear bottle. It's a clear bottle, but he used the red Gatorade. There's the yellow cap still sticking out of it. Police say the driver was on his way to get the taillight fixed. Bullshit, he just told them Yo, that. whatever, that's been up there for two weeks at least. Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna go get it fixed now, officer. You look, yeah, because you can look at the that duct tape and you can see that it's yellowed and peeled back. It's been yeah. on there a while. I would much rather have the cop <laughs> me for having a broken tail light than having that taped to my car and trying to make an excuse like, what are you talking about? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'd rather get caught with a radar detector in my car, to be honest. Yep. Because at least then the cop knows exactly why you have it. This, you have some explaining to do. Yeah, because the, the, that's the one the police just looks and goes. Ticket. <laughs> Ugh. No, he didn't get one. He they didn't ticket the driver who was seen repairing his car later that day. It, you know, I want to point out here. I have had this exact problem. I have had a broken taillight, and this is for those of you at home, you young folks who have your first cars. And you don't know this. If you go to your local auto parts store or even Walmart, they have this tape, this special taillight tape that is red and translucent. You get that tape, you put it on your car, that's your temporary fix, not Gatorade. Not a Gatorade bottle. You couldn't even get a red water bottle from Walmart and actually just make it re- like an actual red one? You, you went cheap on the cheap solution. I also love, like, just repeating what you said, police said taillights prevent crashes, and while we appreciate the ingenuity of the taillight, this is not a permanent solution. Thanks, Officer Genius! We really needed that explanation for the news. I, I want to oh. tell you, that tape costs like two bucks, which probably costs about oh, the best. same amount as the, it's the Gatorade. Gatorade. And duct tape. And duct tape? And duct oh, yeah. tape, yeah. That's more. So you've already paid more on your clever scam to fool the, the police. <laughs> Come on! I would be embarrassed to death if a cop pulled me over and saw that as a... I don't even want to hear your crap explanation. You just get out there and take this off your car. That's like, this is this is like the embodiment of you might be a redneck if, right there. You stop a Gatorade bottle in your tail like hole? And, yeah, even that's like kindergarten logic who have ridden in cars before. They're like, that's not going to work, dad. Yeah, it will, Billy. You don't know any better. Sound like your mom. Our next one is uh, uh where is this one from I, that one made Tennessee. me feel dumber that one legit made me feel dumber 
Um, you, have you ever watched, like, local news, and they get to, like, the end, they have their human interest heartwarming stories about how, you know, yeah. like, a little girl with diabetes ran, like, a thousand-yard decathlon or some shit, or, or mm. some kid in a wheelchair, you know, uh, saved a kitten from a tree or some shit like that. You know how they do those? They gotta cap off of something uplifting. Yeah. Right. This is our version of that. Um, oh, so it's a happy ending for all? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, but, uh, oh. you know. Um... The headline. One-legged man steals police car, runs out of gas. <laughs> Williamson County, Tennessee. A one-legged man, not under arrest, broke into a sheriff's department's vehicle in East Tennessee and allegedly stole the car. Hours later, he was found on the side of a Williamson County road. Captain Ronnie King told News 2 the, the arrest was unusual. Yep. No kidding. That's a new one. <laughs> It all happened Sunday night. Body cam shows Williamson County Deputy Jamie Knox pulling up on a uh, Campbell's County Sheriff's vehicle. It's parked suspiciously on the side of the road. Um, on the video, you can hear the deputy, gun drawn, ordering the driver, later identified as Frank Ramsey, to show his hands. It became obvious the uh, law officer, the 43-year-old car thief, was an amputee missing his right leg. <laughs> this guy just can't catch a break. Um, according to published reports, Frank Ramsey broke out the passenger window, found keys in the car, and drove it until it ran out of gas. Sources say Ramsey was not under arrest at the time of the car theft, so... The, the, the cops have been incredibly forgiving this week. It's like the purge. Though he does have a history of vandalism and public intoxication. Ramsey's currently in the Williamson County Jail, charged with theft over $10,000. Yeah. So, he's walking along... And he finds... Oh, okay, uh, Elder says the cops really had a leg up on him. Okay, I take my compliments to the chat room back. So, so this, <sighs> this dude is just going along, and suddenly there's a cop car. And he's like, okay, well, smashes the window, hops in, drives away. I'm sitting in it, it's mine now. If and this... How much, I want to know how much gas was in it before he, like, ran out, because was he driving for hours and just aimlessly? I don't know. That's a big question, too. What, what was the end game? What was the goal? Because for this one, was he, was he drunk when they arrested him? No. Was he, he might have been drunk when he took the car. Maybe. Because if there's a couple hours between that, then I can see that. There had to have been an end game. There had to have been some reason. You don't just smash into a cop's car and then drive it endlessly until you're out of gas. There's no way. Well, that is not normal drunk behavior. No, it's not normal, but it does happen quite often. It's just this time we have somebody with, with one leg doing it. Yeah. I mean... One, sounds like a bad bar story. Uh, one-legged man stole my car. I drove it to the outskirts of town. It sounds like a country song. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> do, 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 do. One-legged man. Oh, uh, no. When... Well, I mean, I guess. Th how is that a positive human interest story for this show? Because how is this uplifting? It shows that anyone can be that stupid. Are you so jaded by the stories on this show <laughs> that you think this is your cheery, oh, a barn full of puppies saved an old man type story? Yep. A one-legged one man steals a cop car and runs out of gas? Doesn't matter what obstacles are in your way. You can do anything. Just believe in yourself. He still got caught. He didn't get, a, he didn't get through his obstacles. Well, six of one, and half that, dozen of the other. Oh, well, can't argue with that logic, I guess. Oh, uh, next up. <laughs> from the department of a gun is not a remote control for life. Aww. Again. That was on the back of your t-shirt, too. Yeah. McDonald's customer fired gun inside restaurant because her fries were cold. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever been so upset with your food order that you threatened murder? No. <laughs> Thank you. That's the normal answer. No. <laughs> that poor high school student just trying to do her job at the greasy fry, fry deep fryer. Oh, ugh. 
A woman was arrested Monday after firing a gunshot inside a McDonald's in Garden City, Georgia. I I have I lived um, a half hour away from this McDonald's. I have been to this McDonald's. Huh. Uh, the owner of the McDonald's claimed the woman had previously ordered food from the restaurant and left, but returned to complain about the fries while brandishing a gun. <laughs> okay. You have our attention, ma'am. How much are McDonald's French fries? One dollar. One, two dollars. That's a dollar men. No, that's a dollar menu item. Any size? We'll, even if, okay, even, we'll even say, we'll be generous. Say two dollars. Two dollars. Say two dollars. You walk into McDonald's and your fries are cold. That's a two dollar item. Yeah. I promise you, even without the gun, they will give you new fries. They won't even, they won't even ask. They won't even say, okay, can you show us your receipt? No, they, they have don't care. buckets and buckets and buckets of them. They throw them away regularly. They just yeah, dump them into the They fire. have to. After like two or three hours, they have to get rid of like the, all the ones that weren't sold in that batch. They will give you new fries because they don't care because it's such a high volume. They make so much profit off it. It's like 10 cents worth of potatoes and they get like a 200% a return. On the yeah. potatoes. On one person. On one, one person. person. Dude, why did you think you needed a gun? This this wasn't like, you know, a car. How are you so angry that you also... He also offered her... <laughs> no, when she came over the gun, the owner went to the kitchen to get a fresh order, at which point she followed him inside and shot her round into the floor. That is horrifying. So they were already doing... Exactly what you wanted. You are already getting your fries. You were, they're reinforcing your bad behavior, but you have a gun, so sure. They're getting your fries, and you still shoot the fucking gun. Why? Is that like that old Yosemite Sam, I'm so happy, bang, 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 bang? He, I got the fries, bang, 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 bang. He also offered her a refund. For a refund! He's giving you all your money back? And your food. And you still shot. <sighs> and you're still that angry that you have to shoot your gun to assert your dominance at McDonald's. Police later located and apprehended the woman in nearby Savannah, quote, without incident. There was an incident. Yeah, she fucking fired. Look. She shot a gun at McDonald's. There was no part of this sequence that required a firearm. This wasn't even a matter of, you know, they aren't doing what I want them to do. They were immediately doing what you want. They would have done that they without going, the gun. They would have done that. They went above and beyond for customer service for you. Most people don't even get the full refund with your meal. And you put a hole in their floor. And I guarantee goddamn to you, the cost of that bullet shot into the floor and your bail and a fucking attorney it's way more than $2. Two bucks. Yeah. It's you way buy more than that. a lot of happy meals with that, man. And you're not getting fries in jail. You don't get fries in jail. Oh my god. Oh. I hope no one else was there. I hope no one else was freaked out like customers. Uh, I'm glad no one was hurt. And I know you don't do those stories. Will you be going back to that McDonald's again, Nash? Oh, that's, it, that's like 100 miles away from me now. Okay. You don't want to go pay your respects to the bullet hole that's probably still going to be there? You know, there's probably some people there who like taking pictures of it and putting that shit on fucking Instagram. To be fair, yes, I would be like the urban legend for the employees. Before you go to your next one, I have to say this, because it's also your 19th anniversary, since you said you've been to this one, yeah. I've been to two locations that have been on Radio Dead Air stories in my time. I'm not proud of that. It's just how it works. It's the first one happens. the first one was a CVS where a woman um, tried to return a uh, used enema, and CVS said, okay, and put it back on the shelf. Hmm. And the second one was the infamous one in the mobile meth lab then yeah. St. Louis. Yeah. Um, I literally lived a mile away from the gas station she brought that to. That was my home that I was born and raised in for 18 years. <sighs> well, this is real. It's always real. And that's it's always sad. Our last one this week. Uh, I think we put this one under the heading of late stage capitalism. Um, have you ever been on a, on a cruise ship on a cruise? I have. How much was that? Quite a bit. It was a concert cruise, and oh. I would say, uh, not including flight to get there, I would say $1,800. Just to be on the boat? Yep. And you think you'd be happy to be on the boat? 
Ecstat I was. I was ecstatic. It was a great time. And you would appreciate the fact you were spending a lot of money to be on the boat. Yeah, I mean, I saved up, I had to do payments, and I got my concert cruise, I got to do ship rocks, it was great. So you wouldn't, like, say, start a mass brawl on the boat? I'm not going to ship prison. They have a little prison on those cruise ships. Heck no. Uh-uh. Mass brawl, what? It's Six mass people brawl. were hurt as P&O's Britannia sailed to Southampton after a week-long trip to Norway's fjords. A man, 43, and a 41-year-old woman have been arrested on suspicion of assault. Good Morning Britain journalist Richard Gaysford, who was on board, said an emergency tenoy summoned security staff to the ship's restaurant the early hours of Friday. Um, writing on Twitter, he said, Witnesses told me they were so frightened they had to hide as family groups fought. Oh my gosh. So there was a clan brawl, apparently. The people suspected of being behind the violence were confined to a cabin for the last day of the cruise. Said the violence occurred... After a black tie evening and an afternoon of, quote, The patriotic. classy group? Oh, so at the classy event they actually have at the nice place? Mr. Gaysford said he had been told by a witness the incident was sparked by a passenger taking offense at another holiday maker dressed as a clown. Nash, do you hate clowns? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I'm, you hate I'm them enough human, to, start yes. a mass, to start a mass riot on a huge cruise ship? No, because like you just said, you spent $1,800 on a cruise. Yep. How much did these human beings spend on a fuck... 2000 let's say 2000 a person. And oh, by the way, I was in the small room. I was not in the nice, classy, up on the top tier room either. So that's that means everyone who is in this fight, every single person represents $2,000 of their hard-earned money they spent yes. to be on this cruise, and they decided to throw down. Clowns on my vacation? As opposed, the first, at least the first two. Okay, let's let's just say we have the two in the fight. Everybody else had the option of not being in that fight. Yeah, leave. Everybody also, yeah, those cruise ships, they're the size of giant hotels. Yep. There is so much to do on a cruise ship, you will never be bored for a second. You could You just... Another anywhere. place. Yeah. Anywhere. You could do anything. One of the Disney cruise ships has an ice rink on it for ice skating. Mm -hmm. These things are enormous. You could get lost having fun and just leave the clown brawl. Will in the and channel never says, have to worry about it. Will in the channel says, uh, so it turned into a ballroom blitz. That's actually okay. That <laughs> one, you redeemed yourself a little bit more, chat room. So you're up one. But only because the bar's really low. That's more, this is just more so disappointing and so pathetic. This, these cruises, especially if it's like the, um, from British Cruise Lines to Norway, some of those gorgeous like Icelandic and area cruises are just amazing. These cruise ships are oh, billions of dollars and you're turning it into a Waffle House at 2 a.m. Right, I guess it just goes to show yet again, money can't buy class. No, it, no, that's very true. A little bit of alcohol and a clown, and there's going to be a fight no matter where you are in the world. <sighs> How, uh, okay, it keeps going. However, p &O denied there was someone dressed as a clown on the ship. So there might not have even been a, been a clown? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe there was a clown. Cause nobody I think just, so, too. No one just, imagines a clown. <laughs> no one just, there's not a clown just appears out of nowhere. You are a drunk piece of trash if you start to really imagining clowns and starting fights because of the clowns you imagine. Just, oh. just the, the gall of your ass to, to be able to throw down uh, yeah. $2,000 on a once in a, for most of us, a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. Going on a cruise once, I don't even know if I'll ever, I would love to, I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford one again. But at the same time, you better believe I'm not going to do something that stupid. No. I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently, the, the, I didn't realize it was... All, that's just what gets me. Mass brawl. I can even fathom two people in the casino on the ship having too much to drink and getting in a fight and security having to pull them away. Not Hatfields and McCoys trying to shoot each other from across the ship. Over a guy dressed as... Man, I have seen... Just to... We, we, were, we had panels at, uh, at Com Bravo this past yeah. weekend. And um, there was at least one dude 
who who and, and this happens at every panel. I don't matter don't care who you are, what you do, if you're on a panel, some motherfucker in the audience decides it's MST three K time. Yeah. Every fucking time. Magfest was like that too. And the dude is is doing like the you know, the the, the it's like fucking Rocky Horror call back to the goddamn screen. And it's like my response to it was not to go over and just start thumping on him. It's just like God I'm fucking right? away and I'll never have to deal with his ass again in my life. That's how you handle that shit. You're just like, okay, there's this jackass dressed like a clown. Well, guess what? There's an open bar. There's shrimp. Fuck this dude. I'm going to go enjoy myself. Not, yeah. son of a bitch must Not, die. You know, it's like. Yeah, also, was it the clown that got attacked? Because if not, then you just started punching someone else. It just, there's <laughs> literally. <laughs> You better not be a clown. You get clown. Over here. Jim, what the fuck? Or was this true a Benny Hill redneck style where he someone tried to punch the clown? Clown ducks punches someone else, and that starts the mass family brawl for the rest of the ship. Which is even worse now that I think about it, because you know it's awkward for the rest of that cruise if there's a mass family brawl. Vacation's ruined. There's no saving that, no matter how many times you go down the water slide. And you, you know, you know how I know they're they they have money. You know how I know. Um, they got to stay in their cabin, confined no, to their no. cabin. They didn't get into the little the little prison. They let no, them stay it, in the cabin. The cruise ship rock, which is a concert cruise and a big one too. You pull that crap, they would have put you deep in concert or er, uh, cruise prison. You know what they need? We need a plank. Just a fucking plank. That would solve this shit. No one None. would act a, act a fool on a cruise ever again if there they was a fucking the plank. plank. Yep. And they could even and they could even do it while it's docked too. Yep. They would have to be in the open water, just to teach people a lesson. <sighs> so yeah, I guess the first thing we learned this week is, no matter how wealthy you may be, you can still be a complete tactless git. Yeah, man. That that really kind of bums me out, man. You're gonna spend that much cash and ruin your family's time just to pick a fight because you saw a clown. It's it's like there was the word schmuck was designed yeah. for this very circumstance. You are a schmuck. Yeah. Um, we've learned that. Um, well, uh, a lawyer in bail costs a lot more than two dollars. Two dollars for fries. Oh my god, yeah, you know, so, um, we. what do you even say to that woman too after? When you, like, that's the classic thing that I've told you this before, what are you in here for? Uh, killed my wife. What are you in here for? I stole cars. What are you in here for? Cold fries. <laughs> oh. We've learned that, um, no matter what obstacles life puts in your way, don't let your dreams be dreams. Even if it's stealing a cop car. Dash, I'm I'm a little concerned now that this is still <laughs> your human interest story. This is your you're gonna go go to bed tonight with a big smile on your face. One legged man got got away with it. No, he didn't though. And this was not a happy ending for him. We've learned use the right tool for the job, and usually the right tool for the job isn't Gatorade. I think this driver is the tool. <laughs> I don't think there's any other way of getting around that. That's just embarrassing. Um, we've learned that you can't uh, just throw to God and 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 sprint on dinner. That's not how that works. He's he's not gonna get your back. You spot me five, big man. It's oh. not like that, you know. It's not like that. That uh, where were you? I sent you a boat. I sent you a helicopter. No, it's not like that. This is <laughs> you know what God said. Needed you. You know what God said. You know what God sent? God sent the cops. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. And finally, we've learned that um, while you might get away from a little with a little bit of work theft, um, maybe you'll get like uh, some pens or some copier paper. Not a goddamn missile launcher. Missile launcher. Not a tool of destruction. Fuck uh, that does technically that could be considered mass destruction at that point too. Yeah. A missile launcher. Ah, uh, Sarge won't notice it's gone. You know, this son of a bitch was just sitting there thinking, Tom's got a gun rack, but wait till I get home. Yeah, I told you. He's gonna, like you said, he's going to mount it on his truck. Wait till, Seth, wait till Francine checks me out in the parking lot now. Mm -mm. Uh, Texas. You know, somewhere 
this vast universe right now, Sigmund Freud is kicking back and going, told you so. Told you so? Yeah. 